So hello YouTube, this is Chopper Comra here and very angry this, angry this time because I just made a 30 minute video, recorded it with you over here and uh, I don't know but uh, my laptop, uh, my PC got stuck and I can I cannot even see uh, the video, I cannot edit it, I cannot do anything with it and it is basically gone. And I'm really <laughs> angry about it, cause so I'm gonna make uh, just a simple review of what I did in the in the last episode, in the episode which never came out <laughs> or whatever. Uh, I basically just explain you how this thing works. Uh, I j basically this is just some solar panels connected with some blue blue alloy wire into this battery box. And basically, I'm gonna go briefly with you over all this stuff. And uh, okay, and uh, uh, basically, you see, this is a sorting machine. I have nothing in it because uh, the pipes are smart enough to sort the items as I want them to. And uh, Basically, I just use it as a pump to get the items from it here outside into our uh, area over there and then let me show you it uh, as it works uh, Here it is Here we go and basically the pipes work uh, as follows uh, They will send items to the close to the nearest and uh, available inventory and uh, basically that's how that's why I have this barrel here barrels here I put them for the items which I would get uh, the most from the quarry so I don't have any overflow of my items and the first uh, gravel is sorted then cobblestone then dirt then sand and then marble and the and the rest uh, items go into this chest here uh, now this chest was much more filled but uh, I just sorted some items over throughout our chest over down here and basically if this uh, um, chest gets filled up uh, the other chest uh, will uh, fill up uh, will start filling up as well uh, so Anyway, sorry, I didn't see that platypus. Anyway, uh, and also I recorded when I was making these machines over here. So I'm gonna just show you briefly. Uh, I, you, the first thing you need to do is uh, smelt some uh, sticky resin. Let's see, we don't have it. Got to wrap everything. Anyway, you just make a tree tap, which I think I have over here. My friend is making upgrades for this plate. Lol. Anyway, and so you basically get the tree tab, find a nice tree spot uh, in the wrapper trees. As you can see, this orange thing here, there, you just right click on it once, and you get this sticky resin and you put it in a furnace and it gets into rubber. Now, when you finally make the extractor machine which uh, the recipe is as follows here extractor here it is it's just a machine block which is eight refined iron refined iron is simply made uh, by smelting iron into uh, in the furnace and gets you refined iron which is really easy to make and you get the, uh, this recipe here, you can search it in your NEI when you play and you get uh, uh, an extractor okay, let me eat a bit and if you get an extractor, every one sticky resin you get three rubber which is much more efficient and productive and it's better now we also made a macerator as you can see my friend here is cooking out some uh, macerating some coal into coal dust 
uh, then we made an electric furnace which we will upgrade upgrade in the future into an induction furnace which is much better but let me show you the recipes here this is the macerator pretty simple the uh, furnace over here electric furnace just simply an iron furnace which we had over there and I upgraded into this one this is a generator you put coal in it and you get um, EU out of it so it's pretty basic and over here we have a compressor which is used in many industrial ma uh, yeah industrial craft items to make them uh, compressor is this thing here it's just some smooth stone electric circuit and uh, that's basically it we had oh here it is our glowstone in the way so uh, I don't know what else to do in this episode because I just uh, briefly covered everything I did in the recording and got lost which I'm really annoyed about it but I think I have a simple idea just to f uh, just to take some more time of our episode which you are gonna like we're gonna expand it on our next episode and uh, it is um, basically making of uh, monster spawners and there is a mod which can which will let you uh, make spawners in, in minecraft and uh, that's what we are going to work with in this and the next episode let me eat a bit here okay um, and uh, the mod is called uh, if you type sow soul in your uh, search bar over here you can see the soul forge that's what you are going to need and we need some vile dust and some glowstone glowstone is over here what is he doing Whoa. I never noticed the, this thing here <laughs> anyway uh, so let's continue over here and you need some vile dust which is made from soul sand into some into a furnace and it it turns into vile vile dust uh, sorry it's a macerator so we will need nine of these we need one uh, to make the one uh, corrupted essence for the soul forge and we need eight of those of those corrupted essence to make one soul shard you see you pl place eight corrupted essence and one diamond excuse me eight corrupted essence and one diamond in a soul forge and you get three soul shards which are really neat uh, let us hook over here we also need some stone. One, two, three. I'm gonna place it. And uh, six or oh, oh no five. Um, five uh, obsidian, mm -hmm. which we have plenty of. We mm -hmm. must have hit some lava pool, and with the water on top, it uh, turns into. Obsidian and uh, the quarry mines obsidian. Okay, and uh, we need one diamond. Here we have some diamonds over here. Uh, one diamond with our three cobblestone, and we are basically almost ready to craft our first soul shards. Soul shards. Let me explain briefly that here. Uh, basically, when you hold them in your inventory, one of them in your hot bar over here, one of these nine slots, and you kill a monster. The ma first monster you kill, uh, it gets trapped into your soul shard, and 
yeah it gets tapped into your sh sh soul shard and um oh forgot <laughs> i forgot what uh, i wanted to say um yeah it gets tapped into your soul shard and it, this that soul shard uh, basically becomes let's say you kill a creeper it becomes a creeper spawner um, and you basically need to kill for tire one this is there are five tires of this and as you can see as you kill monster so they the, the the durability bar fills up and uh, when you kill 64 so uh, monsters basically if you kill one monster you get one soul and so if you kill 64 so 64 monsters of the same type you get uh, to tire one then you need 128 then 256 512 and 124 uh, which it will the tire 5 is basically the ultimate mob spawner it has very high rates of, of spawning uh, also it can spawn uh, whether it is uh, light or dark it doesn't consider light levels and uh, another uh, last thing uh, it can be toggled on and off by a redstone signal okay let me get my Oh wait, did I grab it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we make our soul forge real quick over here. Uh, my friend over here is making this cool nano nano suit nano armor and it's basically it's armor and when you saw you in it you get uh, you get full prote almost full protection is really good yeah. so let's uh, start our soul forge i'm gonna place it right here put one diamond and eight corrupted essence and we're gonna get our stuff there does it require eight diamonds? Oh. Yeah, it needs an energy crystal. Yeah, let me throw him some diamonds. And basically, this quarry we have running over. Oh, out! Uh, this quarry we have running over there. It's gonna help us a lot, and it's gonna mine for us a lot. And uh, it's really cool. So we just run out of power, <laughs> and our quarry quarry is in query. I don't know how is it called isn't running so i'm gonna close it and let some power build up basically we have some problems with our uh, engine over here our pump in the nether i mean uh, so i'm just gonna pump out some lava from the tank that's uh, why we made this tank is just a backup storage as you can see it drains really quickly but it's just until it fills up our stuff over here which I don't think is anytime soon so yeah I think this episode is done guys sorry for that sorry for my silly mistake I don't know what happened my computer got stuck and stuff uh, but uh, thank you for watching and see you next time when uh, we u put in use this this uh, uh, s uh, soul shards and make uh, I'm gonna tell you uh, we're gonna make one specific type of uh, spawner 
which is going to help, uh, help us a lot with gold income which we will then turn into diamond from our minimum shard minimum stone and it's gonna be really cool uh, so thank you for watching and again sorry for this uh, uh, really little not long time video uh, so uh, see you next time